In today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair a power cord like this one or these. In fact, nearly all electrical end plugs can be replaced using the same method. If you have a damaged or broken power cord, the same method will fix that too. Which leads me to my safety tip. Trying to repair electrical cords or power cords like these with shrink wrap, crimp connectors, electrical tape, or solder is not only an OSHA violation, it's downright dangerous. The tools I'll be using for my project today are a razor knife, some needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, some wire strippers, and my replacement plug. I'll be replacing the electrical plug end of this power strip. The neutral blade has broke off, so we'll be replacing that. The right side of a three-prong plug is the hot side, and the left side is the neutral side. You can see the white wire inside this clear plug and the black wire on the right side. Typically, replacement plugs are brass on the hot side and they're silver on the neutral side. This particular plug is silver on both sides. So you do need to know that the right side is going to be for the black wire. The replacement plug has a screw that disassembles the body. I've removed the screw from the body. That's going to expose the electrodes on the back end of the prongs or the blades. Next, I'll prepare my wire. As you can see inside the wire, you have a green, a black, and a white. I've removed the damaged plug from the power cord. Now I'll take a razor knife and I'm going to remove the outer sheathing. I want to be sure that my wires are going to be long enough, so I'm going to remove about two inches of this sheathing. Next, I want to remove about a half an inch of insulation off of each one of these wires. Now that the insulation is removed off of all three wires, I want to twist each of these wires and braid the strands. We want to put all the wires through the housing and slide it down. Next, we need to assign a wire to each of the electrodes. Remember that the black wire is going to go on the right side and the white wire is going to go on the left side and the green goes down below. So I'll fish my hook around the screw clockwise. Tightening the screw clockwise will draw the wire tight. Next I'll attach the white wire. I've made the hook and I'll fish it around clockwise. And now we'll tighten it down. and the green wire in the same manner. With all three wires attached, we'll slide the housing over the plug. And then we'll reinsert the screw. Replacing a power cord end plug is a pretty simple project. I'll leave an affiliate link to the one I used in the description below. Another simple project is replacing your bathroom ceiling fan. I'll put a link to that video right here. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.